All right, it's that time. Christmas is less than a week away and you might be doing some last minute shopping at this point, or maybe you found the perfect gift, but you're stressed about wrapping. That's me right now. A group of students here in Darien, though, they are here to help. News 12 Connecticut's Lauren Fabrizi has that story. I mean, it's the holidays. It might be dubbed the most wonderful time of the year. I love sitting by a fire. But we all know the days leading up to Christmas can be stressful. And before you wrap that. That's why the depot in Darianne is looking more like Santa's workshop than a youth center these days. Helping hands cutting, folding, and taping until all these gifts are wrapped to perfection. I understand how busy it is for everyone during the holidays, so I'm really trying my best to make all the gifts I wrap look very presentable. It's something kids at the depot have been doing for nearly three decades. Folks worried about finding the time to wrap just drop off their gifts. What paper should we use? The group gets to work. Wrapping things like in a timely manner so I can help as many people as I can. Up we go. Then off the gifts go. For some of these middle and high schoolers, it's a new experience. I've definitely gone into the swing of things. My gift wrapping skills have improved a lot. I would consider myself decent enough. I have the skills, but I'm not as good as some of the girls in there. It's also a little challenging at times. It was an Ikea shelf, but it was in a box, but the box is like huge. So I was like wrestling, trying to get the wrapping paper around it but still just as rewarding. I've been in Darien since I was two, so it's really important to me to stay engaged with my community. Even just the smallest act of kindness could be the best part of their day, their week, for all we know, like their month. So I just think it's a really important thing to be able to give back to the people who are part of your community in that you're living with. <laughs> and in case you were wondering, the kids have wrapped more than 500 gifts since starting last week. Now you can still drop off gifts tomorrow and pick up is on Thursday. We have the full details at news12.com. And Darianne, Lauren Fabrizi, News 12 Connecticut.